to the Kemper. I'm trying to get some dumbbell sounds out of it. And so what I have for you here tonight is a, um, let me see if I can get this up here into the screen so you guys can see it. Ever seen one of these? Little Ethos Overdrive toes, can you see that? See that, see it? Huh? Killer tonage. Ethos Overdrive pedal is, mm, has to be in my top five pedals. There's a lot going on with the Ethos Overdrive pedal. And it is, uh, if anybody wants a video on it, I'll do one through the Marshall. It's killer tonage. Um, but what I tried to do is I wasn't getting as close as I thought I needed to with the Kemper. So I, I hooked up the Ethos here and this is the one with the TLE, the tight low end it's called, which is how we like them. Um, and for some reason, this pedal, and there's a rumor around this pedal that somebody found a Dumble, Dumble, uh, uh, Howard Dumble or Alexander Dumble, had made a few pedals back in the day. And supposedly, somebody got the circuitry and was able to come up with this pedal. I can tell you this, uh, this thing is glorious sounding. And I use that word sparingly. Uh, it is it is one killer tick, 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 at pedal. Can I tell you? So. see a place where I'd need that Ethos Overdrive pedal anymore. And that's like a $500 pedal. It might be $400 now, but I think I paid like $445 close to that. Dumb will get you right there, boys and girls. Or Kemper gets you right there. So this is without the pedal. <laughs> So I'm going to turn the gain down here so that the Kemper is nice and clean. So the distortion that you hear is going to come from this ethos. So I, the only reason I'm trying this is because I had this killer patch inside of here and I kind of lost it, uh, not, not saving it, which I've said before. And then I... When I went in to try to rework, I got frustrated and I hooked up this ethos and I did get quite a crack from that ethos. It was kind of nice, so I'll show you. Uh, gains about uh, halfway or a little over halfway, about 60% uh, on the ethos. The bright is down. Um, I've got it in classic mode and I've got it on jazz. 
and then I've got uh, the volume set at about halfway, and the TLE I have engaged. So yeah, it, it's very, very amp-like. <laughs> microphone about how warm a pedal that is and it doesn't sound like a pedal it sounds like an amp and with the Kemper and it behind it it just sounds good the gain up here and hopefully this whole thing won't back feed on you here that's about not quite three quarters <laughs> Once again, it's a great pedal platform. I mean, what can't you do with that box? Now, I don't know. I, I know you can profile the pedal in there, um, and I'm going to do that. And I think I'm going to offer that on my website if I can. Um, I think that would be a cool thing to do. I have to check and find out if I can do that or not. But. crack of that ethos. I don't know how they get that out of that thing, but it's a... on if I misspoke there I had the ethos on but on the clean channel and what that does is it kind of warms it up Here, let me try that so I'll activate that clean channel and it warms things up somehow I don't know turn the bright off
So I'm going to turn to the, the, the gain channel in the ethos here, and I'm going to crank the gain up here a little bit to give you an idea of what this ethos overdrive pedal, and again, we're, we're in a clean patch here. <laughs> Gives it, I think, just a little bit more gain and maybe a little more high, more high end. I'm going to switch this over to the out. Roll the volume back here a little bit. <laughs> amplifier and it does a phenomenal job at it and adding a, a preamp in front of it like I have a solo 610 by Universal Audio and a power amp behind it <coughs> to give you that bigness in the room it's just uh, it's got me looking at a lot of my analog gear and going um, I just it's just a killer piece of equipment guys There's just no words for it, can I tell you? So let's listen to the, the Kemper alone here without the ethos. Let me make sure I have this ethos off. Okay, I got the ethos off. There's an active button. So make sure I'm not cheating here. More articulate. It's an amp. And I just never have cared much for diode clipping. And that's why this is so cool is that uh, if you want diode clipping, it has a space in here where you can go in and, you know, there are several pedals already in the, the Kemper, if you guys if you don't know. but um, So we're on a clean side here. Here, I got this all the way off. <laughs> distortion out of this. Well, I want to make sure I'm not getting any distortion out of this uh, preamp. And the ethos is off, so okay, we'll start to dial in some distortion. <laughs>
islands and games. <laughs> can't see a need for the Ethos Overdrive pedal anymore. 500 bucks, 400 bucks, whatever they are now. I think I've seen them as low as 400 or 410, as high as 500 bucks. Killer pedal. Just killer, super killer pedal. But what can I tell you? The, uh, the Dumble Amplifier is just something else. And as I hate to get off and play stuff that's kind of out of key there, but I'm I'm listening for notes and how they sound, and so I'm not really worried about what I'm playing. So I apologize for that. But when you see me do stuff like this, I'm trying to find out what certain notes sound like. <laughs> sound is it's just so warm and it sounds so good in a mix and I think it's because it fits between the the bass guitar and the hi-hat and it just it does a really good job sometimes martial tones for me are are kind of weird in the mix and a dumbbellish tone is always so good in the mix. I hope that conveys through the mic it's it's got this crack to the note and then it's got this uh, this creaminess once the note kind of opens up the, the only problem with the dumble sound in that regard is that the big open chords like G or you know if you're using a lot of distortion I guess a big open chord would be a D or a G or whatever is uh, they sound more compressed and they probably are <laughs> So that's it from the Dumble, uh, the Dumble deal tonight. I hope you guys liked it, the Ethos Overdrive pedal. Thank you. Know that I love you. Go out and help somebody tomorrow, man. Do it and do it for uh, the good of your fellow man. I love you. I'm you rock. Don't forget that you rock. And till next time. I'll see you. Thanks so much, guys.
girls. That's like one girl, right? Love you guys. Good night.